Hey everyone, this is Mukesh Otwani once again from learn-information.com. Today in this lecture, we are going to talk about how you can run your web driver IO test in Microsoft Edge browser. Okay, so this is the continuous of the previous video where we have used Selenium server standalone service, which is basically going to download all the drivers for us. Okay, so if you don't have seen that video, please go ahead and watch that video because there we have discussed Selenium standalone service in detail. So we're going to make the few, uh, like just one line of change here, and your test will run on Microsoft Edge browser. So those who are new to this video, please make sure watch the previous video. Title would be how to run the web driver IO test in Firefox. Then come back to this video because that is going to be the precondition for this video. So I will still give you a small recap what we did in the last video. So we added one of the service called Selenium Server, or no, Selenium Standalone Service. And this is the version that we have right now. So this service is going to handle all the drivers for us. So once you have this uh, service added in your packet.json file, then you have to go back to webdriverio.config.js file. And here you need to look for one of the section called capabilities. As you can see, this capabilities is having as of now browser name is Firefox. Initially it was Chrome, it was running on Chrome. That time we were using Chrome driver service. Then we added Selenium standalone service. So if you come forward, then we used one service called Selenium standalone. So if you use the service, now you don't need to maintain the different drivers. So make sure you have Selenium standalone here. And once the service is available, now just change this to Microsoft Edge. Okay, that's all you need to change. Rest everything will be taken care. It's going to run your test on Microsoft Edge. Now, obviously, if you don't have Microsoft Edge browser, it will fail. So make sure you have Microsoft Edge installed in your system, then only you can run your test. In my case, I already have. So I'm going to run all the tests on web, uh, you know, Microsoft Edge. And I will make one more small, small change. That right now I'm excluding this test, which is multiple element.js. But let me run all my tests on Edge browser. If you see the spec file, right now I have mentioned, go to this test folder, go to this spec folder, run all the files which is ending with .js and run all of them on Microsoft Edge. And maximum instance I have given five. That's the default setting that you will be getting. So let me run this. So this is how we run the WebDriver IO test. NPX WebDriver IO run, and I'm going to run this config file. Just notice, since we have been maximum instance is five, and uh, browser is edge, it's going to start three workers for us, because maximum five, and we already have three files. So three will start in parallel mode, and you will see all these a test will run in three edge browsers parallel. That's the default nature of WebDriver IO. It runs your test in uh, parallel mode. Okay, so it says failed. Okay, that was one attempt that, that got failed. Now it is running on edge and yes. So this is the first session. This is the second session. This is the third session. All are running in parallel. All are in Microsoft Edge. Okay, one more got completed, second got completed, third is also executed, and yes. Three passings, so all the spec files got passed. So this was the spec file, first test.js, which got executed. Then we had element.js, which executed, and multiple element.js, which got executed. Okay, that's a small change you can make and you can run your test in Edge browser. Again, guys, as I said, this is continuous of the previous video. So in case if you have not seen this, how to add this um, Selenium standalone service, please go ahead and watch the previous video. You will get a lot of other information as well. Okay, I hope that is clear now. In case if you find this video interesting and it helped you in any manner, then please support this channel by subscribing. Share with your friends, colleague, and I will see you in the next video. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.